Hello, I'm Chief Scientist from Two Canoe Software, Timothy Perfit, and I want to talk to you a little bit about DFU Blaster Pro and how you can use it to very quickly restore an Apple Silicon Mac back to factory default with whatever version of Mac OS you want to put on it. So before I jump in and kind of show you the software and kind of my hardware setup here, let me talk a little bit about what DFU mode is. So when Apple shipped their uh, Apple Silicon Macs, um, in addition to be able to boot to recovery and reinstall Mac OS, there's a what we call DFU mode. Then you could use a keyboard shortcut at startup to put it into DFU mode and then restore the Mac OS by plugging into another Mac. Um, we've made that process simpler um, to be able to quickly and easily do it from one to many Macs at the same time. Um, but fundamentally, DFU mode. DFU mode is a way to restore Mac OS over the USB-C port on the DFU port on the Mac to uh, the factory D. So basically reset the Mac and install what version of Mac OS you want to on it. So let me go ahead and show you my setup. So I have two Macs here that are the target Macs. They're both um, at the, one's at the login screen, the other one's at the setup assistant. Doesn't matter what state they're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just restore both of these Macs. And then I have an admin Mac. And this admin Mac is also an Apple Silicon Mac. And it will be, it's running DFU Blaster, which I'll show you, here's DFU Blaster. Um, and it will allow us to easily put these machines into DFU mode and then restore them. And um, I'll go through four different scenarios to, to go about um, working to, to uh, get them restored. So let me bring in the overview for this, as well as you can see my screen. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a standard white USB-C uh, cable that comes for the, power, for the power brick on Mac on the Mac and plug it into the DFU port. The DFU port is the one that's closest to the hinge, uh, the USB-C port that's closest to the hinge or closest to the Ethernet port if you have a desktop, like a Mac Mini or an iMac or something like that. So I'll plug in the DFU port, and then this other one, I'll plug it into the DFU port on it, and that's the one that's close to the hinge here. And instead of having to do a keyboard shortcut, I'm just gonna click on the DFU mode button. So I click on DFU mode button, and you can see it automatically put the um, Mac into DFU mode. Um, and it now appears on this list at the bottom where it shows Mac 14 comma two, and um, it's in DFU mode. So now I can restore this device. If I, um, uh, it it's in DFU mode and I, um, I have Apple Configurator installed here, I can click on the Apple Configurator button and it will open up Apple Configurator and I just verify that it's in DFU mode. Don't need to open up Apple Configurator because it uses the command line tool underneath to be able to restore to it. So I would just click on restore and it would restore the most recent version of Mac OS. But let's not stop there, oh no. Let's look at the options. So if we click on options, we can see that we have two different kind of really important features. The first one is remove Apple Configurator temporary cache before each restore. So one of the things that Apple Configurator does is it downloads the IPSW, which is the version of Mac OS that's in that file format, and it uncompresses it and makes a bunch of temporary cache files. And those can be like 15 to 20 gigabytes per machine you're restoring. And so those can tend to fill up your drive. And so we can automatically remove those before each restore session. Um, and you can see on the lower left hand corner of the screen down here um, where it has free space, it tells you how much free space is on the startup disk. So you can keep track of that and make sure you're not running out of disk space. And then the second option, if we don't have that selected, the use custom IPSW, the most recent version of Mac OS will either be use the cache version if it's downloaded already or download a fresh copy um, and use that. And once you, uh, if you want to restore a Mac OS that's a different version than the most recent one, you can go ahead and select it here. In fact, we put a button in for show cached IPSW files. And so um, these will collect over time as you do different Macs and there's different versions one. So you can go ahead and delete the one that's there and then just drag in. There you go. And so it'll now use that path um, to restore uh, using custom IPSW. So um, I, would, I'm, I normally would just go click on restore here and start restoring it, but it'll take between five and 10 minutes and I don't wanna waste your time doing that. So just imagine that that goes through as normal DFU mode. So now if we wanted to uh, do a second machine, let me go ahead and restart this machine because I didn't actually restore it. So it goes ahead, chimes, there we go. And this other machine is still booted up to the login window. If I wanted to do this one, I could do the same thing, go into DFU mode and restore it. 
But before you do, it, do that, I want to show you a really neat feature of DFU Blaster, and that's to get the serial number. Getting the serial number on a Mac is not a trivial thing. If it's a new machine, it's easy because the, it comes in a box that has a barcode that you can scan the serial number. But if you don't have that box, if it's either you're use a resetting machine that's already been deployed or you don't have the original box, um, getting the serial number in machine readable format can be tricky, um, especially if you don't know the, uh, the username and password of the, of the um, device to log into it or um, you have to boot into recovery and that can be um, and open up terminal and do those kind of things. We make it very easy. So I'll just hold the power button down till it turns off. Okay, it's turned off. Now I will boot into what they call one true recovery. So I'll press and hold the power button, and it should say uh, continue holding for startup options. Then once it says loading startup options, I'm done. Now the serial number becomes available through the DFU port, and we'll show it in DFU Blaster. So once this starts up, you can now see it says MacBook Air, and then it has the serial number. It's not in DFU mode. Um, and it's machine readable. So I can take my iPhone or my barcode scanner and I can scan it and then make a tag that put on this Mac and I know the serial number is correct. I can also two finger click and do copy serial number. So it's a great and easy way to be able to get that serial number off when you ingest the machine. Now once we've put the property tag on it and got the serial number, I could just click restart the machine. Oh, I don't need to do restart. I click DFU mode and put the machine into DFU mode and then it'll appear at the bottom in DFU. And there it is, DFU mode, I select it, then I can do restore. Easy peasy. So that's scenario one. Basically, you plug in a USB-C cable between the DFU ports, and you can do a one-to-one. -one. But we can do better, so that's scenario two. Let's do it up to three machines, maybe four. I only have two machines here, so we're gonna have to use our imagination a little bit. But just imagine uh, this can expand to more than that. So let me show you about going, how to go about doing that. So we're back to that same scenario where I'll unplug everything. And we have these two Macs that are the target Macs that are in whatever state that we care about. And we have DFU Blaster. So now I'll use this next feature, which is called Automatic DFU. So I'll select Automatic DFU. And what that does is when I plug this USB-C cable into the DFU port on that Mac, Indeed. Um, now this cable, this end of this cable, is, since it's in automatic DFU mode, whatever Mac I plug this into will go into DFU mode. So it's a very powerful feature. Um, so I'll go ahead and plug it into this first one, into the DFU port, and watch what happens. As soon as I plug it in, it goes into DFU mode, and then watch the UI. There it is. It appears. Now I can unplug it, and I'll plug it into the second one in the DFU port. Then watch what happens. It goes into DFU mode and it appears in the UI. All right, now we're done. This one is already plugged in, we're ready to restore it. But now I can plug in, I'll take another USB-C cable, there we go, USB-C cable here, and I'll plug it into the side on this Mac, on any port on the admin Mac, and I'll plug it into this one, into the DFU port of the second target Mac. And look what I see. I now have um, both the machines showing up in uh, ready for restore. So I can select both of them and then click restore and it'll restore whatever version of macOS I've specified in options. And I have to stop there. I have another port here. This is a MacBook Pro. So it has three ports. So I can put a third port on there and do a third Mac all at the same time. And since there's a different bus for each one of the USB-C ports, it can go, it'll do full, it'll do the, it won't be sharing the speed between the USB-C ports. And some Macs have up to four uh, USB ports. So you can have four Macs at once. So it's so, uh, kind of a wonderful thing to be able to do. So that's that second scenario. You basically you use automatic DFU to put them in DFU mode, plug them into the, tar the admin Mac and restore them. Okay, so that's the second scenario. So let me put these, I'll remove these, and I'll plug this, I'll reboot these. So I'll plug it back into the DFU port, hit restart, chime, and I'll go to the other one, put it in DFU port, restart, chime, there we go. So now both of those are back, we're back to 
um, back to that state. Okay, so um, let's talk about the third scenario. Right, the third scenario is we'll be able to put them in DFU mode and then use a third party hub. So we need a third party hub. I just so happen to have a third party hub here, which is a 20 port uh, USB charging hub, I guess. It's USB 3 high speed version. Um, and I'm going to plug these two machines into it and restore using DFU Blaster. So here's the, here's the uh, hub. First thing I'll do is I'll plug the hub into the target Mac or into the admin Mac. So it's ready to do it. So, okay, I'm ready for doing that. But then these two machines, instead of plugging it into this hub, I need to put them in DFU mode. And you already know how to do that because I showed you. We'll turn on automatic DFU. Take a USB-C cable here, plug it into the DFU port on the admin Mac, plug it into DFU port on the target Mac, wait a little bit, and you can see it appears in the UI. That's in DFU mode. I'll plug it into the second one. All right, that one's in DFU mode as well. So I'll unplug these. And now we will plug them both into this hub. And since this is a USB A to C, I'll plug it into A, plug it into this back one. It's gotta be the it's gotta be the DFU port on the target Mac. And we'll do the second one. And I'll plug it into the DFU port here. And you can see that they both appear in the available devices. So I can select them. And now I can click on restore and it'll use Apple Configurator command line tool to restore them using the version of the Mac OS that I select under options. So now, how many machines am I doing? Well, here I'm doing two, right? But I could put 10 devices here. In fact, this is split so you can go up to 20 devices if I plugged it into another USB port on my Mac, which I have. So I could do 20 devices all at once um, through this technique. So that's scenario three. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool, right? But we, we don't need to stop there. We don't need to stop there. So let me, before I continue onwards, let me unplug this and I'll put these machines back into booted up mode, right? So I'll unplug these and I'll restart them. I'll restart them into, back into the OS. So we're back to where we were. So click on restart. Sorry, click on restart. There we go. And then this one, I'll put back, restart it. There we go. So now both those are booted back into macOS um, and we're back to the scenario at the very beginning. So now we'll talk about the fourth scenario, the most, uh, the top of the heap to be able to do it the very easiest method. And we're gonna use what's, what we have is the acronym this is the acronym uh, USB Hub 3C. And this is a fully managed USB-C switch. And so this allows us to just hook this up to the admin Mac and then hook any target devices up to, uh, up to five devices onto, into the USB Hub um, and then uh, restore those, put them in DFU mode and restore them. In fact, we can cascade them. We can actually put another USB-C or another acronym hub um, uh, into this acronym hub or into another port and restore those. So there's really no limit to the number of ones you could do at one time. Um, so let, the first thing I'll do is I'll plug in the acronym hub into the admin Mac. So I'll put in port zero. That's the one that allows you to control it. So it doesn't matter what port I go to in the admin Mac because it's not going to be doing anything DFU related. It's the hub's going to do all that. Then I'll have another USB-C cable and I'll plug port one here, and I'll plug it into the DFU port on my first target. And then I'll take another USB-C cable, and I'll plug it into port two, and I'll plug this into the second target. And I could keep going. I can go all the way up. I have up to five ports here, and again, I could have multiple devices too. So in order to see those, I'll click on the button that says show acronym hub window. 
So I'll click on Show Acronym Hub Window, and you can see that it has port one connected, yes. Port two connected, yes. So I'll select both those ports, and I'll say DFU mode. And what will happen is Admin Mac will send a command to the hub to say, put those in DFU mode. So I'll go three, two, one, go. Do you see that? They went into DFU mo mode almost immediately. And then in the main interface, it'll use Apple Configurator to scan the bus to be able to find those in DFU mode and then show them and make them available for restore. There they are. So now I can select them and I can click on restore and be able to, be able to restore uh, both those devices or up to five devices with that hub or as far as you want it to go. So um, it's a very easy way to do it. And then if I had, if I'm doing it in batches, batches of five or 10, I would just plug another five in, put them in DFU mode, restore. Plug another five in, DFU mode, restore. Very easy to do. So um, that's the Apple, uh, that's the Apple, uh, sorry, the uh, acronym uh, hub to be able to do it, and that's a four scenario. So again, we have four different scenarios we can use with DFU Blaster. One that's just DFU mode, DFU port to DFU port. Puts it in DFU mode, restores it. Very simple, great ad hoc. You're doing one to one. You want to get a machine back up and running really fast. It's Apple Silicon. You don't care what's on it. You just want to be able to restore it. The second scenario is you want to start doing multiple, but you don't have a hub, and you want to just use the available ports that are on that Mac. We can use automatic DFU to put all the machines into DFU mode, plug them into the ports on the Mac, and then restore. Very simple, very easy, and you can do whatever version of Mac OS you want. Third scenario is we use automatic DFU again, put all the target Macs in DFU mode, but then we plug them into a hub. So that means we're not just limited by the number of ports that are on the Mac, but as many ports that are available and the speed um, of that, of the, um, the, the aggregate speed for the ones you want to do it. So um, you can plug them into that hub and then be able to restore them all at once. And then the fourth option, which is the one that's kind of the slickest and easiest, is you just take the admin machine, hook it up to an acronym hub, and then you just plug any of the devices you want, put them in DFU mode programmatically, or just through a button, and restore them through um, uh, right from the DFU Blaster Pro. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to learn more about DFU Blaster Pro, please visit us at twocanoes.com where you can download a trial um, as well as be able to read more about the features of DFU Blaster Pro. Thanks very much for watching.